This brief instructional video is designed to demonstrate how to use the WISE Management Suite to upgrade the firmware on a WISE ThinOS client. The first thing you will need is the actual firmware file. This is the firmware file you will need to upload to the WISE Management Suite server. It is the same file you would use to upgrade a WISE ThinOS client using the FTP or HTTP upgrade method. These firmware files are specific to the WISE ThinOS edition, whether that's WISE ThinOS Standard, WISE ThinOS with PCUIP support, or WISE ThinOS Lite, also known as Zenith. They are also specific to the hardware platform. For this demo, I have a WISE 3040 with WISE ThinOS with PCUIP support, so I will need the file PA 10q underscore WNOS. Now I'm going to log into the Wise Management Suite console. You can see that I have on the right side of the screen. On the left side of the screen, I have a Wise 3040 thin client ready to upgrade. The first thing I'm going to do is an optional step where I'm going to take the default policy group and I'm going to edit the group token from the DEFA, DEFA to DEFA default group. Once that's done, I'll go ahead and just save that. So I've changed that group token. Now on the device, on the left hand side, I'm actually going to go under the central configuration under the WDA tab and then select CCM which is now called WMS or WISE Management Suite and enter the group registration key of DEFA default group uh, for the WMS server I'm going to go ahead and enter in the WISE Management Suite on-prem server that I have here if I was using the cloud-based version I could leave the defaults uh, that was what was pre-populated there but I, again, I have an on-prem version, so I'll just put in my demo 17-WMS and clear the enable CA validation. When I validate the key, uh, you can see that the validation is successful, and my device will go ahead and communicate with my WISE Management Suite server and reboot and uh, start the uh, communication. Once that's done, on the right-hand side, I'll go into Devices, and now I can see my device is available. I can see that it's a WISE thin OS with PCUIP running 8.4.108. Uh, I'm going to go under Apps and Data, and I'm going to go ahead and upload the firmware file that I mentioned. So I'll just go ahead and browse out on my local machine. And now here again you can see I've got the PA10Q underscore WNOS file and then just give that a short description. And then click on upload. Now that's actually being added to the local software repository of my WISE Management Suite server, so that can be available and assigned to any group that I want. In this case, I'm going to go back to the default policy group, edit the policy, For firmware upgrade, I will select to configure this item. And the platform, again, we're using the, uh, the Y3040. So go ahead and select from the drop down list. I can see my Y3040 with PCUIP and the firmware version, the 8.4.112. And I go ahead and click Yes, Save, and Publish that. So now uh, my default group uh, will get that setting, which is to upgrade the firmware. Now my device, 
uh, again is in that default group um, I did not choose to do a live upgrade but let's go ahead and just look at the device and we can see it's on the 8.4.108 firmware right now and let's go ahead and send a reboot command Now my device reboots and again it's going to communicate with the WISE Management Suite server. Um, it'll apply the default policy configuration uh, which tells it to upgrade the firmware. And again, there are a couple uh, separate packages that will update. In this case, um, when they have a device that supports PCYP, you can see a, a package specific to that. So it is a little bit larger uh, upgrade, uh, about 30 megs for this particular demo. And now we can go see the upgrade has completed successfully and just confirm here that now we are indeed running 8.4.1.1.2 uh, and you can see that reflected uh, in the screen on the right.